Hey guys, it's Mix here again. Today, we are going to be talking about the Edge interview with Joseph Staten, Bungie's lead writer and designer for Destiny. Okay, so the interview starts off with Bungie being asked by Edge Studios how they hope to populate the worlds and how players will go about exploring them. Bungie replies, what we want to do is take players on a journey from the familiar to the strange to land them in places they might recognize, like our moon, a familiar gray crater, and then gradually lead them deeper into the moon to secrets that maybe they never imagined. Things that are fantastical, frightening, and offer opportunities for adventure. And then, we might want to do the same thing in other places around the solar system, including Earth. Joe Staten goes on to say, that when Bungie starts to build a world, they look at three key aspects. One, what's the core mystery of this play? Why are these things here? Why are we exploring? Two, what are the spaces the players are to transition through as they drive towards this important mystery? What are the themes of the places that we're going to be visiting and exploring? And number three, who are the bad guys and what are they doing here? Why are they here? What are they trying to protect or to destroy? Next, Staten is asked about players being able to choose to take on obstacles that are too daunting at a lower level. Staten replies, There are some streets you don't want to walk down, even in a well-lit city, until you've gotten stronger. You will absolutely walk around in this world, sometimes directed, sometimes very open, and meet things too strong for you, or doors you can't open. We want that experience of a temporary stop to be one that energizes players to make themselves stronger. They know how to cross that door, they can peer beyond it, and know the reward is worth it. We intentionally develop these aspirational blockages. Now to me, this is really cool. This is Bungie's way of saying, hey, here's a cool environment that you can explore later on, here's some higher level loot that you'd love to find and use, but play the game. Upgrade your warlock, your titan, or your hunter. Give your exotic weapons a boost. Give your primary and your special weapons boosts. Make sure your abilities are up to par, and then once you're happy with where you're at, go and take that on. Edge continues to ask, what will me and my friends be doing in this game? What will happen when we go on a raid? What will happen when we decide to take on other players? To which Staten replies, what's really important are the choices that are presented to you at a high level in Destiny. There are screens that give you choices. Do I want to be more social or do I just want to hang out by myself? If I want to be social, do I want to be friendly and cooperative with people or beat the shit out of people and be competitive? And do I have an hour or 15 minutes? So we are creating a layer over this world that will give a choice depending on what mood you're in. That's really important to us. Asking players to find their fun Saying it's out there if you go hunting for it is not the game we're making. Edge later asks Joe to tell about a play session that he had surprised him. Joe says that once when playing with his son, he experienced something odd. They hopped into an older build without Staten realizing there was an updated version out and that he would have to download the new build, which would take a while, or they would have to play this build with no social aspects. And his son decided that he would rather go to bed then play destiny with no one else coexisting in the world now if that doesn't mean that bungie is doing something right then i don't know what does what do you guys think are you excited for destiny's social features or are you more of a lone wolf let me know in the comments below thanks for watching guys if you liked the video please like it subscribe for more destiny content and stay tuned to my channel for even more great gaming updates Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I just wanted to do a couple of shout outs. First, to Adrian War for making the great intro video that I now have. I would also like to thank Savory Baconist for the Fallen pick that we use. And Bungie, not only for the concept art we use during the intro, but for making such a great game that I cannot wait to play. Thank you guys. Have a great day.